Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And the breaking news in Parliament is that Conservative MP Julian Knight has had the whip removed. He is no longer allowed to vote for or represent the government. Why? Well, allegations have been made to Scotland Yard regarding uh, things that he may or may not have done. This has been then relayed to the Conservative Party and they have, with immediate effect, removed the whip pending investigation. No details of what the allegations are have been released by either the police or the Conservative Party. But I happen to know what they are. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now is an excellent time to hit that subscribe button and then stay and watch this report and find out exactly what he may or may not have done. Because of course, until he's charged, he's still an innocent man. And we will maintain that innocence because I don't want to open myself up for prosecution. But the allegation is standing is firm. So let's look at the article and move on in. So top Tory MP Julian Knight has the whip removed after Scotland Yard receives a formal complaint about his conduct. Julian Knight had the Tory whip removed last night due to an allegation. Uh, a formal complaint has been received about the MP by the Metropolitan Police. Mr Knight has represented Solly Hull in the West Midlands since 2015. Um, and it just flick down, there's a picture of him. Um, as you can see, I'll just take a look at the face. What do you think the allegation is? Well, we'll find out in a moment. A senior Tory MP was dramatically suspended from the Parliamentary Party last night after he was reported to police. Julian Knight, who chairs the Digital, Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee, had the whip suspended after a complaint was made to Scotland Yard. It means he no longer sits as a Conservative in the House of Commons, but he does remain an MP, but effectively he is now an independent. The 50-year-old has represented Solly Hull in the West Midlands since 2015 and has served as a ministerial aide in several departments. Uh, and there's the Chief Whip, Simon Hart, who removed the whip from him last night. Um, a spokesman for the government, Chief Whip, Simon Hart, said in a statement... Following a complaint made to the Metropolitan Police this evening, we have removed the whip from Julian Knight MP with immediate effect. No further information is made public about the nature of the complaint against Mr Knight by the Conservatives or the police. And he did not immediately respond to requests for comment. He will be keeping his head down uh, because he knows that if this comes out, people will automatically assume guilt, um, even if he is innocent. And of course... As it stands, he is an innocent man. He has been convicted of nothing. The man is innocent. And of course, we maintain that innocent until proven guilty. But he is an innocent man. However, the allegation has been made. And for some reason, nobody is saying what the allegation is. But stick with this. Uh, however, it is the latest in a series of blows to Rishi Sunak after he vowed to lead the country with integrity when he became Tory leader and Prime Minister in October. Very hard to maintain your integrity when you maintain a green card so you can escape to America very quickly when it all goes pear-shaped and your wife is non-domiciled for tax reasons and you're a billionaire and so you're not paying your fair share of tax into this country of which you are a Prime Minister. Seems very dodgy and not very filled with much integrity there at all. But hey, what do I know? Just hours earlier, he claimed he'd been absolutely shocked about lobbying allegations against Conservative peer Baroness Boobs. I mean, Baroness Moan. Uh, just check her out. You'll see why Baroness Boobs. Uh, who has also now lost the party whipped after taking a voluntary leave of absence from the House of Lords. Former Health Secretary Matt Hancock was also stripped of the whip when he flew to Australia to film I'm a Celeb without permission. But he now plans to stand down at the next election. Now, and the next chief whip, uh, Chris Pincher, was suspended in July after allegations he had S assaulted two men and he admitted he had drunk far too much at the Carlton Club and embarrassed himself and other people in a scandal that contributed to the downfall of Boris Johnson when it emerged that the then PM had known about previous complaints about Mr Pincher. It just seems it's all filth. Now, I always maintain that when you have... Um, let's just say, allegations made against the, the Labour Party, it tends to be about money. But when there's allegations made in, in the Tory party, nine times out of ten, it's about the other thing, S, right? It tends always to be that thing with the Tories. Mr Knight becomes the fifth Tory MP to have lost the whip. Mr Knight 
as I say, is not one of those that will be having money problems. So it's the other thing, isn't it? Prior to Mr Hancock and Mr Pincher, David Warburton was suspended in April over allegations he s harassed three women. And Welsh backbencher Bob Roberts has sat as an independent since a panel found his last year that he should be suspended from Parliament for six weeks for breaching its s misconduct policy. All the time. It's all to do with the contents of trousers. And we shouldn't be surprised. Now, you are sitting here and you've stuck with this because I promised you I would let you know what the allegation is. Well, I cannot tell you outright, so I'm going to be subtle about it because I've got to protect myself. But there is a case um, of a man who decided that he'd like to put himself, you know, in front of a woman um, inside, if you like, uh, unwillingly for her. Now that is a crime. There's a there's a name for that crime, and that crime begins with the letter R. And when you do something like that to someone, you could be convicted of R. Um, it's a kind of seed. You see it growing in fields. Do you understand? Yes, of course you do. And now that you know that that is a word, um, let's, let's go back and have a look at Mr Julian Knight. Now, the, the police haven't said what the allegation is. And I'm not saying what the allegation is. However, I think you can now kind of guess what this innocent man has been accused of, maybe. Um, he has maybe been accused of this. I think I've covered myself. I'm not directly accusing him of anything. I'm not saying that that is what the allegation is. I'm merely pointing out that there are many things for which he could be accused, of which that is one of them. I think um, I shall draw this part to a close now. But yeah, it always seems to be the same old thing with the Tories, doesn't it? Usually that. Obviously, Baroness Moan, that's a bit, a bit different. But... Uh, all the others, yeah, it's all to do with um, fluids. It's always very fluid story. Anyway, I shall stop there and come up. It is a truism that power is an aphrodisiac, but generally it tends to be people attracted to those with power. For some inadequate people, they seem to think that if they have some kind of authority, that automatically makes them attractive to others. That's not necessarily the case. And there are some people for whom having MP after their name means that they think they can take what they want from whomever they want, when they want. This has happened before. This will undoubtedly happen again. But when an MP thinks that he can merely exercise his right as an MP to demand gratification, um, then that isn't right and it is absolutely definition of R. You take what you want. You know, I'm having to use roundabout terms because of YouTube, but when you're taking what you want, uh, simply because you believe you have the right to because you are an MP, uh, and yes, you need to be accused of and prosecuted for the R word. Now we have this innocent man, Mr. Uh, Mr. Julian Knight, completely innocent man. Uh, nobody um, is making a formal allegation of what he has done. However, I have had somebody tell me, somebody I know who works very close to the heart of government, has told me that this is exactly what has happened that he has been accused of something, um, that it is being kept a secret because it is damaging. Uh, but I have been told what it is that he's been accused of. And of course, I have in no way told you what that is. And um, that way I remain safe. And I shall draw a line under it there. Uh, because I don't want to say any more and get myself... I don't want, let's just say I don't want to overstep the mark. But I believe that um, enough clues have been left behind, uh, but enough 
if their fours and maybes have been introduced so unprotected. So it is just an allegation and he is an innocent man. Remember that. Okay, I'm out of here. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, never trust a politician, and goodbye.